Hi, welcome back. It's electrical number three. Hopefully the last electrical one I have to do. Got a couple of uh, repairs I need to do still under the seat. But the main focus of this one is to get the battery sorted out. I gotta make up two uh, big heavy cables or the eight gauge wires, the ground portion of the battery as well as the big heavy cable that goes out with the starter and the starter solenoid. So I'll make those up as well as a trigger wire. It comes off of the starter solenoid that's under the seat. And those two have to get run under the engine and connected to the solenoid. And then there's a short little wire that comes off the solenoid to the starter post. And because I installed an aftermarket starter, the posts are located in different locations, but I would have made a new cable up anyway. Everything's old. They're all crispy. They're all corroded. They gotta get replaced. So let's get on with it. Okay, out with the old, in with the new, um, the old stack of wires. This is the old solenoid cable. A little short thing that went from the solenoid to the starter. This was a little trigger wire that goes from the starter solenoid underneath the seat. That's where that connection is. This goes underneath the engine. And this old spade connector used to connect at the solenoid. Uh, what's next? Let's get rid of the old grounding cable. That was a part that went where the on the side of the engine. Um, that was just the ground on the battery. And that's gone. That's done. This is the old wire that came off the positive for the battery. And I don't think this is Yamaha. It doesn't look like something Yamaha would do. Um, anyway, this would travel underneath the engine as well. And that's the part that went on to the starter solenoid. Um, also, so three connections on the solenoid. Um, this would have been connecting to that little connection that was there. It was frayed and I knew it was going to be time to replace it. Let's have a look at the new stuff. That's the new cable that goes, a little short cable that goes from the solenoid to the starter pin. Just love this silicone wire. Um, these crimp connections, solder connections, whatever you want. It's your choice. Uh, I don't care either way. I know people anti-crimp, some people are anti-solder. I've done a lot of soldering in my life and I've done a lot of crimping and it's, uh, I'm not going to die on that hill. So you do what you want to do and it's all good because they're both both fine for this sort of thing. Yeah, that, that's going to come off the battery and um, that's going to go on that new grounding spot that I mentioned. Um, but that's the point that comes off the battery. This is the point that is going to go to the solenoid to provide the high current to turn the starter over. And all this is, is this is going to come off the positive post as well and go up to another connector that broke. Wah, this little fella right there. So I bought a, a new bunch of little, Mo, uh, like a kit of Molex connectors. And I'm just going to make these up because I, I have another problem on the bike that I found. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but this is, this is it. This is the, the main power wire to the bike that goes under the seat and this provides power to the main this is like the from off the battery to the main uh sort of the main switch i guess or main relay so that's it that's all the wiring done but all this stuff adios amigos you have lived your life well uh so the problem that i have with the bike and it's it's always been a little bit of a nag here and I think if you guys uh, saw my electrical part one or two, I can't remember what it was, but anyways, I had to do some repairs to the, the loom and there was a black wire that was really badly damaged. One of the things that it does, it provides ground to the fuel pump as well as a number of other circuits. So that's always been a problem. I tried soldering it, but it just so happens that like there's the, there's the connection to the, uh, the fuel pump. This is the connector that supplies that from the loom. And you can see the repair I made, my, the solder joint that I made held just fine, but it broke inside the connector. So uh, I'm gonna replace this connector. Um, I've got a proper um, terminal for this. I've got to, let's see, I've got to replace this connector as well that's just temporary right now while i was doing some testing 
that's the main fuse. I had all of this apart because of the uh, break in the wire to the fuel pump. So got a little bit more work to do here. Um, you can see I got the battery in. That's just for placing wires and stuff like that. Uh, got to run all the ground wires, run that power wire underneath and get everything all sorted out on this side. And then um, start cleaning things up and getting things back organized again. This is this is a bit of a mess down here because I had to take a few things apart. But once I do that, start working on that and I'll show you the result. Let's have a look. So solenoid cover is just kind of barely on there. Everything's loose, just to check for slack. The little cap and covers are on. There's the main wire in its little cover. These little screws have to be removed one at a time and the little clips go in there. And then that wire runs up in there and comes back up in here. So that's the way the positive wire goes in that little channel. And then the ground is gonna come up and touch right there. I have the solenoid wire plugged in. This is the main plug that's gonna go right in here. And so right now what I'll do is I'm gonna actually hook the battery up and see what we got. Whew. All right. I'm almost afraid to do this. <laughs> it's like fear of the unknown. I guess one day <clears throat> it has to be done. I may end up changing this connector out depending on whether or not it clears the. I've got to, yeah, I've got to, hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work. It'll work for now, but it's not going to work. Oh, hang on a second. Let's turn it around. Because the cover's got to go on. And I don't think that's going to work, but maybe if I did that, we'll see. I'll try that. And then I'll just give that a little push like that. Okay. That's just temporary, of course. All right. Like I said, this is... That right there is the trigger wire that goes to the solenoid. And I'll find a, a little room, like a, you know, I'll route that properly in a little while, but that's the main fuse. I might as well just push it under the way because it's going to eventually go in its little spot. And then this is going to find the proper routing as well. And these are the new connectors that I just made up. So, man, they look pretty good. 
Um, no. Moment of truth. Power is now connected to the bike. It's a big moment. All right, I don't know why I'm so nervous, but if I turn this run switch on right over here, then um, I, hear, I should hear the fuel pump come on. And it does. Okay, and everything else seems to be working, so moment of truth, guys. I'm going to have to turn the fuel pump on. No, I'll just leave it. I'm going to turn it over real quick. There you go. That's going. Okay, so what this thing does is it's mechanical and electrical. So <clears throat> the mechanical side of it, when the when the solenoid relay under the seat closes a circuit out, it trips the electrical part of it and it'll close. This will go in, this is hinged, that will come out. And at the same time, it's not only a mechanical device, but it's also an electrical device. There's a big heavy set of contacts in there that close and that's providing power from the battery directly to the starter motor. And that's how this thing works. So it's job is twofold, electrical and mechanical. And that's everything seems to be working. So a little bit of a weight off my shoulders today. Okay, I'm gonna call it quits. I'm getting tired, I'm getting hungry. And as you can see what I did, everything is in, it's still kind of loose and temporary. I'm just gonna mess around with checking wires out. There's not a lot of room under the seat. And now I got a little bit extra wire back there, but I'm just gonna make sure it's routed properly and just double check everything, make sure there's no, you know, wires laying on a muffler are gonna get chafed. Uh, on my own time, I'll put those little brackets back in and that's about it. Uh, it's getting pretty close. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, pretty happy to see it turn over. I'm glad you're here watching with me. All right, thanks for sticking with me on this one. Uh, next one, I'm pretty sure I'll be starting it up. Just gotta get some gas now. All right, thanks again. See you on the next one.